Department of Work and Pension civil servant Lisa Bulldog was in royal company earlier this month as she received an NBE for her plans to help disabled workers and those with hearing loss like her, which have been taken on nationwide. Meeting Prince William was surreal. Um, oh, I was so oozed and nervous that I couldn't get out my head thinking about protocol and I said, hi, I'm still with your highness. I just made them laugh, really. With the ceremony on the 2nd of March, when the beast from the east well and truly crossed paths with Storm Emma, getting to Buckingham Palace the day before proved an almost impossible task. But determined Lisa and her family weren't going to take snow for an answer. It was uh, an incredible, amazing day. I had um, quite an adventure getting up. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong in regards to my travelling. Um, what should have taken an hour and a half to get to London took five hours because of the snow. Outside of work, Lisa does a great deal of volunteering in empowering young people with hearing loss and raising awareness of hearing dogs. But what is it exactly in the workplace that has earned her such an esteemed honour? I designed the disability passport, um, which is a template that's used for um, managers who um, need that support to understand person's needs. In my job, I was incredibly frustrated with the amount of changes that I was having in um, having new managers. So I put a, together a tip list that um, helps and supported me explaining my disability, my conditions, and what adjustments were needed to support me, which was working really well. So I took it to the region and the south. From that, it then escalated to national. From that, um, it then escalated to civil service wide. It's now widely known, could have been proud of it. Lisa can't help but attribute her astounding success to her hearing dog, Inca, who she says has transformed her life around. Inca came to me um, about five years ago. Um, I was incredibly depressed and isolated. When you have a hearing loss, you become a recluse because communication and interaction is very difficult. Always being deaf, my hearing went into the play. So, my husband and my family got together and said, why don't you apply for a healing drug? I applied for Inca. Um, and when she came into my life, she gave me my life back. Because from that, I was able to become more independent rather than relying on people to tell me sounds, everyday sounds that I need to know. Um, she gave me that confidence by alerting me to those towns and there's also the social element to that that people will now come and talk to me and um, this helped me in my depression and my anxiety and it also gave me the confidence to be where I am now really. I would never have dreamed of travelling the country um, regularly commuting to London to do my job now if I had to have her, um, it just gives me that support to help me be who I am now, really. Charles Ray Palmer for That's TV.